Welcome to the latest episode of Drone News from Jeff Sebelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. DJI has announced the release of the new Mavic Air 2 drone, a new intermediate step between the Mavic Mini and the Mavic 2 series. The new version of the Mavic Air replaces the original Air in the DJI lineup with updated capabilities and a lower retail price to boot. DJI does a great job of product releases. Unlike other manufacturers that announce a drone months before you can buy it, the Air 2 is scheduled to start shipping in just a couple of weeks. You can order yours now. Look in the description below for a link to buy direct from DJI. So what do you need to know about the Air 2? Well, it looks more like the Mavic 2 than it does the original Air. The Air weighs 570 grams, which is well above the Mini's 249 grams, but far less than the Mavic 2, which comes in at around 900 grams. Size-wise, the Air 2 has a diagonal distance of 302 millimeters, compared to the Mini's 213 millimeters and the Mavic 2's 354 millimeters. That means the Air is 3.5 inches bigger diagonally than the Mini, and 2 inches smaller than the Mavic 2. The Air 2 is gray. It appears to be lighter than the Mavic 2, but at least it looks to be darker than the Mavic Mini. The color is important as a darker drone is normally more visible than a lighter one. Probably the biggest new feature of the Air 2 is that it now employs OcuSync 2.0 transmission system with a video transmission distance of up to 10 kilometers. It has 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second to your smart device. With the upcoming release of a new firmware update, the Air 2 will work with DJI's smart controller. If you already own the smart controller, you'll love that. If you don't own it already, you'll spend as much for the controller as you do for the drone, so it's not quite as attractive in that scenario. The Air 2 beefs up the photographic capability over the original Air. With its 1 half inch CMOS sensor, it shoots 4K video at 60 frames per second at a 120 megabits per second bitrate. The Air 2 shoots still images at 12 megapixels RAW and up to 48 megapixels in JPEG. It offers normal and d like color profiles. The new drone offers enhanced HDR for video, stills, and panorama, and hyperlight for low-light situations. It also features hyperlapse in 8K with four different route modes, free, circle, course lock, and waypoint. The lens is fixed focus, thank you DJI for that, shooting at f2.8 at 24 millimeters. The Air 2 offers several popular DJI quick shots, including Droney, Circle, Helix, Rocket, Boomerang, and Asteroid. It also offers Focus Track, a suite of intelligent tracking modes that includes Active Track 3.0, Spotlight 2.0, and Point of Interest 3.0. Like the original Air, the Air 2 includes 8GB of internal storage. I wish this had actually been bumped up to 16 or even 32GB, but even 8 gigabytes is nice to have. The biggest complaint around the original Mavic Air was its short battery life. The Air 2 addresses this with an advertised flight time of up to 34 minutes. The Air 2 also includes quiet props, which hopefully will fix another common complaint with the original Air, noise. The safety features on the Air 2 are beefed up as well. The APAS 3.0 Obstacle Avoidance System provides forward, rear, and downward obstacle avoidance with an auxiliary light to help with landing, positioning, and in-flight visibility. I believe that the Air 2 is also the first DJI drone to feature AirSense, which employs ADBS sensors to detect manned aircraft in the area. So let's talk price. The Air 2 retails for $799 in the US. The Flymore combo comes with three batteries, extra props, a full set of neutral density filters, a charging hub, and a carry bag, and it costs $988. Air 2 batteries cost $115 each, so the Flymore combo is like buying two batteries on sale and getting all the other extras for free. It looks to be a really good deal. So what do I think of the Air 2? My first impression of this new drone is it's a home run. At first glance, it fills the gap between the Mini and the Mavic 2 perfectly. It delivers significant capabilities over the Mini to justify its higher price. Naturally, the Mavic 2 has a superior camera and more capabilities than the Air 2, but it costs almost twice as much, 
and I think the average hobbyist may be hard pressed to justify the big price increase for the added features they would get. The Air 2 sits comfortably between the Mini and the Mavic 2, but here's the good news. In terms of its capabilities, it's closer to the Mavic 2. But in terms of price, it's closer to the Mini. That's the definition of real value. Even better, a closer look reveals that the Air 2 actually moves the ball forward over more expensive DJI drones. It shoots 4K at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 240 frames per second. Not even the Mavic 2 Pro does that. The Air 2 has d alike and the Mavic 2 doesn't. It has a 120 megabits per second bit rate and the Mavic 2 shoots at 100. So, based on the specs at least, the Mavic Air 2 actually beats the Mavic 2 in some respects. So let's not get all starry-eyed just yet. The proof will be in performance. How good will the image quality really be? How quiet are those quiet props? The Air 2 is closer in size to the Pro than it is to the Mini, and it has that big clunky controller. How portable will it be? How will it handle wind? DJI claims it will handle winds up to 23.5 miles per hour, and says the Mavic 2 is only a little better at 24.23 miles per hour. So that's a big unknown. The Air 2 uses the DJI Fly app rather than the Go 4 app. Will it have all the controls and capabilities I used in the Go 4 app? There's lots of things to find out. All in all, however, I'm really excited about the Air 2. I have ordered one and will do a non-fanboy review and comparison videos on it, along with some tutorials as well. Like I said before, the Air 2 should start shipping in a couple weeks. I don't always like the DJI Fly More combos, but in this case, I think it's worth the extra price if you can swing it. You can order yours directly from DJI. I put the link in the description below. That's it for this episode of Drone News. Thanks for watching.